I was in a gym when I saw the uh, video footage of September 11, 2001, and um, I was in London. And I walked into this gym because somebody had said there was something happening in New York, and I had just moved to London from New York. And my former roommate um, worked you know, at the World Financial Center right next to the world. And, and being a writer, I was watching what was happening. Uh, and I tried to call my roommate, and I couldn't get through, like many of the people trying to call New York that day. Um, but I also was watching the people around me watch the video. And, and one person next to me was smiling. And this was a you know, European-looking person, or somebody of, of, with, with, I don't even know if that's a statement that makes any sense, but somebody who did not look, to me, evidently Muslim, uh, although, of course, we know Muslims can look like anything, um, but was smiling. And, and so, of course, at, at very sad events sometimes, you're overcome by emotion and you smile. But I kind of had a feeling that this maybe wasn't that. And, um, and then, you know, I, I saw video footage of people celebrating. I got emails, you know, from people who were pleased. Um, and, and that idea that people were uh, intrigued me. And I, and, I, and I began to think about this notion that um, it's possible to separate in one's mind the, you know, the horrific, um, atrocious, you know, uh, atro just, just uh, massacre of thousands of our you know, fellow human beings from a kind of symbolic act, a political act, um, and that people do this all the time. And so in the novel, uh, Chinggis has this reaction, and he's, he feels torn because on the one hand, he's quite in love with America and doing quite well in America. On the other hand, he feels a strange kind of almost tribal affiliation that says he's happy that America is hurt. And, and, I, and one thing I'd just like to say about this is that um, we were talking a bit earlier about you know, who gets attracted. There's the heroic quest of the person who gets attracted. There's potentially the psychopath. But I think there's also um, a group of people, uh, you know, in a way like Chinggis in the novel, who feel divided, um, you know, to, who feel that they're of two worlds. And in my own life, uh, California and part of my uh, childhood in Pakistan and part of my adulthood in the States and the UK and part of my adulthood in Pakistan, when I was younger, when I was in America, I tried to act much more American. When I was in Pakistan, I tried to act much, much more Pakistani. And it wasn't until my late teens or early 20s that I began to think, this is a bit of a strange thing to do. Why don't I just act like myself? Um, and I think there's enormous pressure on us to, in a way, pick sides, to say that if I am two things, that's wrong. I should be one thing. And so then people engage, I think, in an act of, of enormous uh, psychic violence towards themselves to say, no, no, I can't be both things. And I think what we should be asking ourselves as societies, you know, places like Australia and, and the UK and the US, and of course Pakistan, um, is you know, to what extent do we create conditions where people who feel they belong to two different things um, aren't encouraged to accept themselves as mongrel, of, as both, and instead are encouraged to pick one. In fact, are asked to pick one, are expected to pick one. Or do you think um, in so certain circumstances they get pushed in one direction or feel that they've been pushed in I one direction? I think so. I think, I think, I think you know, what, what one sees is, is so many people, as you say, you know, get, you know guitar-playing terrorists, you know, rock band-loving uh, suicide bombers. Um, there is clearly... It's not just a narrative of somebody who is, you know, an out-and-out -out death cultist, you know, usually. Um, it's, it's oftentimes, I think, there are people who, like young people everywhere in the world, and older people too, are confused about what their identity is. And, and generally speaking, we live inside societies that, that perhaps increasingly um, 